Dear friends, I have the following question. Who of you likes sauna? Uh, only the Russians like the way it looks like. I know that the Germans like the sauna. How do you do it? Do you go to the sauna first and jump into the cold water last? Who does do that? Is there anyone there who does it another way around? All right, one person. Arena. You do it correctly. Well done, and I will explain why. I came from Siberia. Um, up to eight months in a year, it looks like that there. So cold and cold studies are a very important topics. And within my project, we try to find the ways of training uh, people, to making them adjust to such conditions. So what happens to a person who lands, uh, for example, in cold water? At the beginning, the heart starts pounding wildly. Uh, the muscles are contracted. Uh, the breathing is interrupted. And then the person starts shivering. The core temperature starts sinking and hypothermia begins. All the processes in the body slow down. The consumption of oxygen sinks. And slowly but surely the person loses consciousness, falls asleep and dies. They say that an untrained individual can survive in the water at uh, zero degrees Celsius uh, for up to 15 minutes. What does an untrained person feel when they dip into a hole in ice? Each cell of your skin screams from the freezing cold as if you were pierced by thousands of needles at the same time. It's a horrible, horrible sensation for someone who is not prepared. But we know that there are people who can stay in the icy water much more time without distress. For example, Wim Hof, the iceman, who holds the record of 120 minutes in icy water. He's also famous for crossing the Mont Blanc wearing shorts only. These are my friends who live in my hometown, Tumen, and they can swim in the icy water for over 1,000 meters or spend there uh, for over, uh, over an hour. How do they do that? Don't all these people feel cold? Well, the human body has a great capacity and great resources about which we don't know you need to use them. And I'll tell you how. The best cold training is the training in the hole of ice. You need to go in uh, up to the neck for 20 to 30 seconds, then leave the hole in the ice. That starts the process of internal heat generation in your body. That's a reserve mechanism, a protective mechanism. Not every of us uh, is aware of this mechanism. What happens? The small capillaries on the skin surface close up. So they insulate your body. After that, the blood flows to the internal organs, circulating there and warming up. Then after one to two minutes, maybe three minutes, the capillaries will open again. And warmed up blood flows into the skin. You start feeling warmer. You get rosy. And after a while, you might even feel hot. This is a mechanism given to each of us by the nature. But we live in very comfortable conditions, warm conditions. We have warm clothes, warm flats, and we don't even have an idea that our body has such a great capacity. After the first dip, there is no need to escape. Don't go to the warmth. Stay close to the hole in the ice. Endure it. Feel the warmth from the inside. And when you feel warm again, 
you need to jump into the hole in the ice again and stay there for one, two, maybe 10 minutes, as long as you can endure. Until you start feeling that you're really freezing. Now get out and go to the sauna. Here, in a few minutes, just as you start warming up, you will get high. Yeah, just uh, like a drug addict. What happens there? Your body, after having survived the cold stress, starts getting warm and your brain says, well, thank goodness, hopefully this person won't do that again and sends uh, the right signal and releases the so-called hormones of happiness, endorphins, and uh, this is why you start feeling at ease, you feel a new lease of life, energy, and it's really similar to a high. The same mechanism, really. Um, I th when it tried it out for the first time, first I didn't want to believe it, but when I did it all correctly, I really got high and I said, all right, I'm going to join the team. Let's research and uh, let's, let's give everyone an opportunity to experience this sensation. In our project, we work with several age groups undergoing the curl training. Nursery children, school children, students, middle-aged people, and el elderly. And I'll show you some of the results. The easiest one. While dipping into the hole in the eyes, the heart rate within seconds increases to 120 to 130 beats per, min per minute. And uh, whereas an experienced runner, a sportsman, would need to run for 40 minutes to reach uh, that heart rate which provides a very good training of the cardiovascular system. The children from our cold training groups showed four times less absence at schools and nurseries due to illness. And if we have a look at the immune system parameters, for example, at monocytes, uh, the high level of monocytes usually is a sign that a person is ill. So look at the blue group. You see that the levels are quite low, so the children are healthy. Now, another interesting one is immunoglobulin E, which usually is responsible for uh, the allergic reactions in children. Uh, within the age group of four to six year olds, uh, it's usually increased. Uh, but at the same time, with our focus group, uh, the immunoglobulin levels are low. So they're less prone to become allergic. The grown-ups. Here, we did some research on the psycho-emotional state of adults prior to the cold water and after the procedure. We conducted the text uh, and noticed that before the dip, most people showed high anxiety and stress levels. They can't focus. It's usually in the evening. It's usually after the work, so people are still thinking about the problems of the day. But after the hole in the eyes, the mood chan changes radically. The anxiety levels uh, are low. Um, people become more relaxed, more focused, but the energy levels are a bit lower. And it's clear, it's understandable. Uh, people, uh, these people have survived some stress, but that's good because they'll fall asleep very well and they'll sleep like babies. Dear friends, and the best thing, each and every of you can do it at home. You don't have to visit Siberia for that. Put some cold water in your bath, temperature less than uh, 11 degrees um, Celsius. Add some ice, have a dip for 20 seconds, then get out, rub yourself with a towel, and you'll feel more energetic and in improved mood. And if you go to the sauna, before going there, have a dip in the icy water for 20 minutes, leave the cold, 
and feel how your internal heat mechanisms start working. Feel the warmth. After that, have the second dip, then go to the sauna, and you'll definitely get high. Dear friends, don't be afraid of the cold. Love it, and be healthy. Anton!